1996 Buick Hearse conversion? That's pretty awesome. Is this where trucking is headed? Well, with the big layoffs, driver layoffs that they just announced this week at the one large company, yikes. That's something, but uh, that's not why we're here on a cold Sunday. It's dead cold, by the way. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. It's the Sunday rant, and we're here with a hearse to talk about what I saw this week at the truck stop. So this is really something that surprised me and I don't I don't understand this. So I go to the Lowe's because I had to meet a driver there to change trailers. And I thought, you know what? I'll get fuel. <laughs> so I thought, I'm just gonna go get some fuel. Okay, so I go up there. The fuel, it's three deep. They have like three lanes closed. Who knows what's going on? I think the same person that works on these pumps is the person that tries to fix the shake machine at McDonald's. But either way, and I thought, forget that. So I just go in the back and drop it. Then there are people coming in, getting in line. In this line, this line is going to be easy, what, 20, 30 minutes? I guess you could take a break in that line, supposedly, but uh, maybe longer because, you know, somebody pulls up. Then they have to go inside and, uh, you know, wash their feet in the sink or whatever people are doing, which I see all the time, all this kind of goofy stuff. Look, why are we waiting in line? I want to know, are there still trucking companies that say you must fuel only at this truck stop? I thought this all ended, uh, you know, in the Middle Ages when trucking companies finally got a clue about, oh, that's a bad idea. Make somebody wait in line. Wouldn't you just bail out of there and take off to go somewhere else? Even though I was going to sit there, I wasn't going to sit in that stupid line. So, uh, you know, I wonder why would you come in there and go, you know what, I'll think I'll sit in a line. The line was actually blocking one way around the truck stop. It was long enough for that. And I'm thinking, you know what, there's no way when I have limited time available that I would sit in a line just to get fuel unless the company says you must fuel there. And if they do that, you need to gripe at them and say, Hey, you're wasting my time because what? I got to believe 90 some plus percent of those people waiting in that line are not being paid. The company is not like, if you wait in a long fuel line, we will pay you. There's not some fuel line pay, although with all the other pays on there, who knows? There's not a line, fuel waiting, this waiting, that, none of that. And I thought, there is just no way. And the line's all catty, wumpus, and wonky. Just was no way. I couldn't imagine who's sitting there waiting when there's work to be done. This is Saturday. I had to work Saturday. So this is on Saturday that I'm sitting there seeing this. And I thought, it's a weekend. You got, I guess you got nothing better to do than waste time sitting in a line. How many people put that off duty? Anyone? Bueller? I'm sure there are people doing that that put that off duty. And I got to say duty several times. So I appreciate that. So are you waiting in line or are trucking companies making you wait in line? Are you choosing to wait in line? Or you just don't have anything to do so you're waiting in line? Because if you're out away from your house, the company should always be moving you unless you're required to stop. They should be moving you so you can make money and you spend your free time at your house. Okay? Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with another Trucking Answers.